I'm glad we got it back to you, man. It's good to meet you. One year ago, this couple went kayaking in one of Florida's most beautiful rivers. They started to struggle on the kayak and they flipped it over. While they were trying to get out of the water, they dropped their phone to the bottom of the river. One year later, and it just so happens that I've come to the exact same river to treasure hunt. I have my underwater metal detector. We're gonna search for lost items. There's hundreds of people that go kayaking and tubing through here every day. It's loaded with animals. It's got turtles, alligators, snakes, big, big fish in there. It's really gorgeous. Today, we are gonna be diving with the Blue Nomad. So this is a battery powered diving system. It floats at the surface. It's got a rechargeable battery that goes in it and it pumps air down a hose so I can breathe 30 feet under the surface for over an hour. The visibility at this location is absolutely amazing. And there's this tall, tall grass, which is gonna make treasure hunting a challenge, but it also provides a great opportunity to find lost items that no one else will be able to find. And we have to be careful of boats and kayaks overhead at this location as well. My metal detector pinged on something deep in this grass here. This grass is about four feet deep, so I couldn't even see to the bottom. I had to reach my arm in and feel around for something solid, and I managed to grab hold of it. I pulled it up, and it was this old camera here. Now, this camera is all full of water, so so it's definitely no good, but the SD card still might be okay. So I took the camera home, I pried the SD card out of it and I put up my computer and it turned out to be corrupted. So there were no files on the SD card anymore. So I'm moving on all these beautiful fish in this grass here, such an incredible river. And I found another target down in the grass here. And again, I'm looking around with my metal detector. My metal detector's going off. I reach it and pull it up and it's a nice pair of sunglasses. So I'm gonna stick it in the sunglass tree. Here is the world famous sunglasses tree. Look at this, this is a palm tree here and there's like a hundred sunglasses on here. Our glasses is the highest pair up here. I'm going down to the deeper part of the river where the riverbed opens up and gets away from the grass. And you can see on the bottom of the river, there's these little springs here. This is called a sand boil. This is actually pure fresh water just coming out of the ground. In fact, this entire river is formed by freshwater springs just like this, but most of them are a lot bigger than this one. They're like these cave sized ones here, and there's just tons of water, millions of gallons of water flowing out of these holes. Now I'm gonna move around and get back in the grass and start searching. I pinged on something again, and it turned out to be this little snorkel mask here, which actually turned out to be a nice mask, so I'm gonna save that. And I found something else in here as well. I reached in and grabbed it. I felt something hard, I pulled it out, and it was somebody's keys. So these keys are really old. No chance I'm gonna find the owner, but man, it was must have been such a bummer to lose their keys on this beautiful river and look at this big spotted gar these gar are all over the river it's really cool in the grass here my metal detector found another target the grass is a little bit shallower here so I can see something I reach in and I grab it and I pull it out and it happens to be an Apple iPhone I don't know what generation this is but it's in a life proof case so it might still work now the iPhone is in a life proof case and normally these are waterproof however the phone was pretty deep and must have been there for a long time because the water was able to intrude inside the case. So I think that the phone is ruined. However, we may be able to connect to the phone and see if there are any pictures on here and maybe get it to the owner. I brought the phone home, I plugged it into a charger. It got really hot at first, but then it actually turned on. I was able to see the person on the front cover and with some detective work, I managed to find the original owner. Good to meet you, man. How you doing, my friend? Look at you. Yeah, I know. You look, from, you look familiar. <laughs> It was on March last year. Last year? Last year. Oh and it was a brand new phone actually. It was like a week. It was brand, brand new. Brand new, yeah. And we were on a kayak and it was windy. So her hat, her hat blew away. And, and then so she scared. jumped behind the, the hat and rolled us over. But wait, he was going to take me a picture. And that's why he didn't have the handle of the oh, case. Oh, okay. And I didn't ask for the picture. I don't know why he wanted to take the picture. This and that's when everything with the water. Look at that. These photos were not on the cloud. These videos were not on the cloud. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. So you got some photos off oh, it. Yeah. Oh, Thank you so awesome. much. No worries. To be honest, when you sent me the, the first text message, I was like, oh, wow, this is kind of scary. <laughs> oh, this person that I want. Because you sent, me, you sent me a photo like that and then the photo of my wife. I was like, what do you want? <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, I'm no, glad we got it back to you, so man. Much. It's good to meet you. Very good to meet you. And uh, you guys have a safe drive back.